How's it going, guys? So, um, for right now, the face cam is just going to be like the way it is. Uh, I will get my green screen set up sometime this week, and we'll have a green screen for the uh, Halo Reach. Um, so, I have it kind of like set in like a Windows mode-esque on my desktop, so I can actually still access OPS if I need to, without actually having to go full screen and having to minimize it and so on and so forth. Um, let me turn down that volume. A little loud in my ear here. Uh, Made music, but awesome. Uh, you hear the fan background, so I do apologize. So, we're going to be doing Halo Reach, and I'll explain in my uh, update video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, this will be my first time ever playing Halo Reach, never played it before. I only played Halo Combat Evolved, and Halo uh, 2 were my first two big ones. Uh, and then, surprisingly, I looked it up. Halo Reach came out in 2010. Two years after I graduated high school. Um, so I thought it was actually before like Halo 2 and Halo Combat Evolved. Apparently it wasn't. So that was interesting to find out. Uh, but as usual, we'll keep the videos with the 20 minutes. Uh, we're actually going to resume where I started. Uh, there's like whole intro introduction thing, but it's nothing really too important. I pretty much skipped all that to make sure the game would actually run. Um, yeah, so all videos will be within 20 minutes. And then we'll see where we go from there. But this will be our new blind, I guess, let's play or walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. So, um, let's do it. Oops. I'm having to adjust my mic here, so I do apologize. Alright, we got Cat Carter and Found a Emily. Make out. I'm actually gonna adjust that sound. It's a little loud in my ears. I don't know how well it will be on your guys' side, but we're gonna turn this down just a bit because I love the Halo music, but it will literally blare into your ears if you don't have that. So it's two oh two game music volumes, okay. Um Especially with Halo 2's intro one. God, I love that. Negative, but it's military. So where are the troopers? Why are we not seeing explosives residue? And if we are playing on mouse and keyboard, um, I haven't even decided if I want that on my phone. Plasma, maybe. Come. I'm turning that down too. Uh, I have decided whether or not I want to actually play a uh, controller or not. So. And we're playing on it easy too, so it's gonna be the first time. I don't want to struggle through the game. All right, Noble. Looks like there's nothing here. Let's move on. So basically, we don't know anything about Reach. Uh, I know very vaguely of it. Uh, let's see if we actually watch that. But apparently, this is like the, one of the first planets that is actually a prequel to the rest of Halo games. And I think besides possibly Halo Wars, where it's one of the first planets the Coven actually invade and slowly take over and wipe out humanity. Um, I guess they really didn't know about humanity, and this was one of the first plants they discovered that was actually conquered by humanity. And they realized, hey, there's a species that's not a part of the covenant here. What the hell are they doing here? So, and because humanity will not submit to the covenant, the covenant gave them the big middle finger and started glassing their planet, which is basically firing a laser onto the planet where until it's scorched so bad it literally turns to glass. Um, this is actually before. Mm. Pretty sure way before the Covenant even discovered the flood or the flood facilities, especially in Halo 2. But then again, I could be completely wrong, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know how what's the timeline between no, this and I'm like heat in Halo Wars and Halo Combat Evolved. In them should I There's people on your knees now. They're not rebels. They're farmers. Look at them. Ask them what they're doing here. Meet <sighs> You got some serious firepower. He's carrying, carrying a minigun and an ammo backpack. You need some serious strength. People see people carrying a minigun thinking it's going to be heavy. That's like at least a 50 70 pound gun, at least. Well, something in the field. Maybe 70 pounds? You know. And then you also have you know, this heavy armor on top of this. I mean, you have this, an exosuit. Or a battle suit, whatever you want to call it, that enhances your strength as it is anyways, along with your you know flexibilities and speed. So, building and carry a seventy-pound gun like that is probably nothing. It's probably still somewhat heavy, but 
Um, you know, this is set in what the 25th century, so and you expect with being that late in the future, you would have something like plasma guns or laser weapons, like the Covenant does. And yet, surprisingly, we're still using bullets. You know, the human technology has not advanced that far 500 years later, in comparison to what it is now. You know, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. That's why I like, I don't like Star Trek over Star Wars, because it's more Damn. realistic. Fill me in, Commander. And Star Trek was like 200 something years later. We've got military casualties, two of the missing troopers. Do we have a flashlight? Looks like they were interrogated. Uh, it's messy. I don't have a. I don't know. I'm assuming we have a flashlight? Oh, damn, he got. Hell on. Um, let me check the keys here. I do apologize for any of this, but uh, we're literally going in blind. That includes, you know, this stuff too. Do we have a flashlight? Uh, I need my glasses on too, so I don't have to squint. I do apologize. Ah! Get my glasses on real quick. Oh, might be in gameplay. Uh, smudge my goddamn glasses. Oh, because that would be in control. Uh, computer gamepad. Yeah, yeah, it would figure be in here. Oh, computer bindings. Flashlight. Do we get a flashlight in here? Fire zoom zoom out. Melee. What's the melee? Q. So grenades, body armor. Okay, it looks like we don't get a flashlight. Uh, that's a shame. And apparently there's skulls in this game too. As usual, you may hear my family in the background, so I do apologize. Oh, I'm going first. These guys got wrecked. Watch your motion trackers. Yeah, they definitely playing Covenant. June, you see anything? The Covenant. Negative. They're almost clean. Sound like it was on the roof. And the least do have camouflage, so you wouldn't detect them on your radars as anyways. Yeah, these guys got wiped the hell out. Um, I don't know if certain skulls are kind of like works like Halo 2, where they're only certain skulls are available only on certain difficulties and where you would even look for them. You know. But uh, when I do beat this game, um, I do have Halo 2 already downloaded. I'll need to download Combat Evolved, but I do tend to want to actually explore Boss, this game. I see movement outside your structure. Noble 2, move up to the west. We're about to be uh, like that? Well, oh, they know about the Covenant. So I'm soon. Uh, I say I don't like that. You can't. You can't. Um, you can't zoom in while you're shooting. It's kind of annoying. Once we finish this up, I'll get into commentary here real quick. Uh, so I'm guessing Halo Wars predates Halo Reach. Because he just said it's the Covenant. So that means they already know about the Covenant as it is. Oops. Can I take their weapons? Yeah, their armor looks way different. See, I like this version of the Jackal. I don't like the... The other version that they have, okay, it looks like you can't take the um, weapons. They did bring the battle rifle back, I think it was in like Halo 4? Or is it like Halo 7? What the hell Infinite one is? Um, oh. The Needler, are you kidding me? How do you switch weapons? Uh, I don't know. No, I want, how do you switch weapons? Okay, we're sorry. We have to go check this settings here. I know, I know. You should have done this before the pre-recording. There's always going to be those type of people. I don't care. You don't like it, you can watch someone else. Um. So yeah, I'm assuming this takes place 
sometime after Halo Warzone because he said in the Covenant like it was like they already knew about them as it was, which is interesting to me. How the hell do you switch weapons? Switch player mode? What the hell is that? That's just the oh, that's theater crap. I don't care, rat's ass about that. Switch grenades. Oh, change weapon number one. The hell? That's a weird ass keybind. Really? All clear. So, apparently so. Where's my magnum at? Or battle rifle? Um. Ooh. The needler was one of the best weapons in Halo 2 you could get your hands on. I mean, you do wield of those suckers. I mean, you were just unstoppable. Down, Take it like Noble leaders, enemy dropships inbound. I mean, even on legendary mode, they still wrecked. And the, the whole honing thing, too. And it really disappointed me when they actually took out Dual Wielding in Halo 3. That was a huge mistake with that goddamn thing. The more you sin, the more I get the chip. Hopefully the volume is good for this. Like I said, it's loud in my ears, but it may be low on the caption, so um, I can always adjust it in the next video or something like that. Um, as for videos, as usual, Monday through Thursday will be game videos, Friday will be your trailer reactions. I actually have a few tra trailers actually saved that I'm going to do reactions to. This is the ghost? Oh man, that's like way different comparison to Halo 2's ghost. And Stand down, Stand down. the one thing you guys have to realize is that when it comes to all the Halo games, Halo 2 is the one I played the most. You know, I put more hours in that game than any Halo game that has ever come out that I was able to play. And not only the Fram 2. So. Boss, I'm showing more activity to the east. Copy that, June. We're on it. Six, you got point. Oh, me? Uh, can I go in the water? Activate our abilities left shift. What the hell is that? I don't know. I'm... Oh, you just gotta press it. That was like like super speed or something like that, or it made you faster. He's a giant ostriches. So it just allows me to run faster. Alright then, that's that's a battle right there for you guys. Who do you think would win? Um, Master Chief? Oh, yeah. Hold on a minute. I gotta get a look, gotta get a look at the elites. See, even the elites have energy shields with that too, which is funny because they had them in the other Halo games. But another thing, you would expect that humanity would have actually made. Commander, I'm seeing more hostile activity to the northeast. Hmm, what is this? Is that supposed to be their pistol? Six and I will run interference on the ground. We'll meet you at the outpost. That's way different design comparisons. I, I like this design better than. Can you duel this? Oh, you can't do. Oh, this duel not existing. Um. Reach? That sucks. Yeah, even the lead looks like. I kind of like the leads from Halo 2. They're not as masky. They're not like heavily armored. So you can actually see more of their design than anything else. How the hell do you enter this? System? What do you mean? Uh, to get in. How the fuck do you. Uh, I apologize for dropping that bomb there. How do you get in? <laughs> Hello? Oh, was I not allowed to get in? Um, but, anyways, who do you think would win? Master Chief will go. His most advanced form, whatever one you Damn choose it, that to be. With me. Okay, okay, shut up. I'm talking to the crowd here. Or uh, Prophet from Crisis. And do you think uh, Prophet could actually hang with, you know, the uh, Spartans? Leave comments below about that. What's this? It's like some health thing. Uh, this is hold E. I'm pressing E. Oh. Get this thing moving. That's the um, their version of the. Uh, hold on, I'm drawing a blank here. What the hell are they called? Warhog. Oh God. Using the keys for this is not gonna be easy. Uh, what? 
Jesus, that's yeah, we might have to play on controller. Because trying to do this with mouse and keyboard, but just this sort of situation alone is gonna be a real pain in the ass. The dog gets in sight. It is? I kinda want it. I think we'll just explore on our own. I wanna do like story mode so you guys don't have to linger on about where is he gonna get to the story mode? He keeps exploring. Nice. Yeah, there are those people like that. Um, I think, what, Reach came out with the Xbox 360? I think, or was the original Xbox? It was one or two. I think it was the 360, I don't know. Let's run him over! Come here, you little bastards! I love that, too, because you would... Uh... Noble leader, I'm seeing heat six in the structure ahead. Oh, that's so weird. That is so much more cooler than Halo's 2 version of it. Oh yeah, that's right, they have to have a cooldown. I forgot about that too, yeah. That you have the cooldown for that stuff. Bye bye. <laughs> he gone. Looks um, like clear, Lieutenant. Yeah, I like I like the Halo's Breach version of the plasma pistol. It's more Star Wars esque. So it's a d d d d d d d d d d instead of just kind of like a plasma. Well, it's technically they're all plasma weapons, but it doesn't feel as movie esque kind of like Halo 2 version does. It seems more real, more realistic how it, it would actually sound. But, uh, I don't know, this is me. Um, let me take a look here real quick. Uh, ooh, we're at 17 minutes. So what we're actually going to do is we're in the first video here. I know, you know, 20 minutes, but usually with all the adding the intros and introductions and all that crap, trust me, it'll add up to like 20 minutes anyways. Uh, so thoughts on them for right now. Um, loving it. Like I said, it is way different than Halo 2, the one I'm used to. Uh, I'm glad that Needler is actually in here. I will have to look up to see how far this is actually after Halo Wars, because I'm assuming if they know about the Covenant, that means that Halo Wars came first, then Halo Reach, then Halo Combat Evolved, something like that. Uh, I do know there's a cameo at the end of the game where it does show Master Chief, and that eventually would start Halo, uh, Halo Combat Evolved, and I'm pretty sure everyone in this game dies except for your own character. I could be completely wrong about that i have no idea like i said it's been 10 years since i've watched halo reach so you know trying to remember bits and fragments of the game is not easy <laughs> but uh either way hope this guy hope this will bring memories back for you guys I and mean, hell you, you might want to boot it up yourself if you guys still have an xbox 360 or the pc uh but i think i'm definitely going to enjoy playing halo reach for the very first time but uh, either way, stay safe, healthy, and sanitized. Make sure to drop a like, then subscribe, and leave comments below. And uh, I'm actually sure to check them out. See you guys.